Holy shit, the fall season is pretty much well underway at this point. There's a lot of shows coming out. I've been talking about a few of them. If you missed it, on my main channel, I covered g Reco. I covered uh, Unlimited Blade Works. Got a Log Horizon video on here, but now let's talk about a few other shows that I watched in the meantime. First of all, I watched the first two episodes of Tribe Cool Crew. This is a kid's show by a Studio Sunrise about dancing, and I had no idea what to expect from it because it just looked like any kids show and it more or less is but like something about it is really really enjoyable the main character is like as shonen hero as you can get he's just really passionate he just wants to dance and do that's it all he cares about just fucking dancing but like he's super cool because I, I love his design first of all second of all dancing is cool in itself I like dancing anyway I like watching dancing and uh, I like the idea of a character who's passionate about dancing in that total shonen hero way and he just like he runs around town and parkours everywhere he goes like it's just a thing he does he's constantly jumping parkouring his special skill essentially is that he can jump really well and uh and it's entertaining to watch because you're like, oh, he's jumping off of buildings and stuff. This is cool. And they, it's it's like legit parkour where like, for, for those who don't know, the, the essence of parkour is that you're supposed to be able to get from one place to another in a straight line. Like you, you're basically climbing and jumping on things to make a, a travel as short as possible. And that's exactly what the character is doing in the show. They don't explain that to you. It's just what I observed. He's been doing this dance thing but like no one really knows about it he's just been dancing alone in like this empty area and he doesn't realize that there's this other girl who's been watching him dance all this time while she practices dance on the other side of a window pane where she's been able to see him but he hasn't been able to see her and she's fucking adorable and she also is passionate about dancing does all this awesome dancing and she's like shy about it though and she doesn't want anyone to know that she's doing it but what's so great about her is that she'll be in these situations where she's hearing music and she just can't stop herself like she wants to hide and to be shy and not for anyone to know but when she's in a situation where she hears music she just can't stop her body from moving so like the it's like the passion for dance is like breaking her own will essentially and the main character guy finds out about her and wants her for a dance crew and you know it's moving in that direction where they're going to end up forming a dance crew and I just I think the relationship between the two main characters is just really fun to watch because the main guy like all he sees is she can dance I need her you know there's no like there's, there's no romantic thoughts in his mind about it. And it's funny because his parents make fun of him like, oh, you've got a girlfriend, huh? And it's like, you don't even get the sense he's ever thought about that. He's just like, no, she can dance. What's wrong with you people? I, I want to... You don't understand. She can dance really well. And, uh... It's entertaining to watch them both. The costume designs are really good. All the characters that they've been introducing seem like they're going to be cool. There's just like the, the whole dance crew they introduced at the end of episode two all look really cool. Just love the character designs, love the colors. Um, some people are going to be turned off by the CG whenever they dance. It goes into CG, which is completely normal for Japanese kids shows. If you've been watching Precure or any fucking idol show, you've you got to be used to it by now. I mean... To me, I've been watching Miku Miku dance videos since 2007 or something, so I'm used to CG dancing. It's just normal, and it looks nice, and they can do a lot of moves that they wouldn't be able to do with regular animation because it would cost way too much. And whenever they dance, it starts playing, like, bro step music, and it's fucking fantastic. I love it. So, uh, definitely, I look forward to more of that. Then there was the first episode of Shingeki no Bahamut, which was kind of a a bit of a clusterfuck. It was just like stuff happening everywhere. It was pretty to look at though. Like it just it's obvious that it looks just like Attack on Titan, which is funny because Attack on Titan is Shingeki no Kyojin and this is Shingeki no Bahamut. So it's Attack on Bahamut essentially. And uh, they do the same like thatched roof walled off fantasy world thing. They've got people running on rooftops and really good animation and it's like this looks exactly like Attack on Titan and but uh but it's not it thematically not like that at all. It's just like a fun weird action adventure show. Um there's the main guy is like this weird looking womanizing dude who is like entertaining to watch I guess but he seems like he's kind of a douche but then there's this girl who's like the the silent insane badass chick who is cool she's she looks cool I, I 
I don't know. There's not much to say about it. It was just action, and it looked pretty, and I was like, I'll watch it until it gets retarded. Like, it could easily do that. It could easily get really dumb and be like, I don't care anymore. So we'll see what happens with that one. And then lastly, I watched... What else was it? Oh, I never commented on Denki Guy, whatever the rest of the title is. I keep forgetting. Um, it's a comedy show about some people who are running a doujin store in Akihabara, and... It's pretty funny. It's got like these really great laugh out loud moments, though the characters didn't really solidify that much in the first episode. Like the the one the manga writer girl kind of comes into her own by the end, and the main character guy who just like really loves her manga and wants to support her. You see there's hints of they could have a romantic relationship. I have no idea if the show will actually follow through on that at all, because most of these shows don't. But um it could be entertaining. I I would say that when it when it got into like the more serious part like uh where where they were all like passionate about stuff I, I thought that was cool but i didn't know these characters well enough to really care that much so if they do that again later when i actually do care about the characters maybe it'll be interesting but for now there was enough laughs in the first episode that i felt like all right i'll keep watching this it looks entertaining enough and i think that that is all that i watched so far so i'll see you in the next one I'm probably going to keep sandwiching them together like this, and I can't guarantee that I'll put out videos about, like, every episode of every show. I'm only going to do it if I have something to say about it, or if it's, like, a, you know, something new happened and my opinion changed or something like that. <clears throat> Trying to get this out quick because I'm in the middle of making a lot of videos on the main channel, so just running through. Yeah!